Rogue Amoeba booth, one of my favorite companies, love Rogue Amoeba, and I've cornered Paul Kafas. Paul Kafasis. There, I got it. Uh, we had uh, drinks the other night and started talking, and uh, I realized there's actually some applications you sell that I don't yet use. But I, uh, I think we wanted to start talking about Piezo. Yeah, so Piezo is our new application. It's an application for recording audio. Uh, we have a, a powerful application called Audio Hijack Pro that a lot of people know. I love Audio Hijack Pro. Excellent. But uh, it's a little complex. It's not the easiest thing in the world to use, and it's, uh, it's very powerful but it's something where we needed to make a simpler version that a whole lot of people could use. It would be a lot more accessible for the average person. And that's what Piezo is. Yeah, I, the, the simplicity is probably the single number one best thing. But even though I'm, I think I'm fairly high end in this uh, technology and I love Audio Hijack Pro, I'm using, I'm using Piezo now to record Skype calls. Yeah, absolutely. With, uh, with Audio Hijack Pro, you've been able to record Skype for years, but with Piezo, it's pretty much one click. You set Skype as the source, and you click, and Piezo splits the audio. It grabs both parties. It grabs your audio, and it grabs the other party, and it splits it to the left and right channel and saves an audio file for you with almost no effort. Yeah, it is really easy. I do find it real weird, though, when I'm listening to Bart and me talk after I've recorded it, and it's like, parts on my left ear, I'm on my right ear, oh, back, forth, back, forth. It's kind of creepy. Well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty useful for most people in terms of editing the audio after the fact. It's very easy to isolate the tracks that way. So so how do you pull the tracks apart after the fact? you got to use some other tools, right? Right, so you need some sort of audio editor. If, if you're looking to do multi-track editing, you'll look for a multi-track editor. Uh, we have a very simple editor called Fission, uh, which I think you're familiar with. I've heard of it, but I haven't actually used it yet. I think we need to we need to talk about that later. All right. So Fission is just a basic audio editor that uh, works with MB3 and AAC files losslessly. So it lets you trim and ba do basic audio editing operations. Uh, so for basic editing of piezo recordings, that works pretty well. But if you're looking for something a little more complicated or a little more uh, powerful, rather, uh, multi-track editor is what you're going to want. For that. So I hadn't actually seen how to do that, like with GarageBand. Uh, GarageBand is able to do it. There's a few others that are out there, but... Uh, so I don't know how to split the tracks apart, because they come in on the same track, but left and right uh, stereo. So with that, you'd probably just duplicate the tracks, and you could just isolate one, and then do the editing on that, and then isolate the other one and do the editing oh, on that. Oh, that'd be easy. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to... Uh, so this won't be very interesting for the uh, audio audience, but uh, just show people what the interface looks on, on Piezo. Yeah, so this is Piezo right here, and uh, it looks... Basically, it's uh, what we call a retro-modern design. And the idea was just to have some retro features like the VU meters right here. Uh, but it's, it's got a little bit of wood, it's got a little bit of personality to it. We, uh, we, uh, we spent a lot of time just sort of figuring out how we wanted it to look and we're pretty happy with how it came out. Yeah, I think one of the things that your tools stand apart is, is even though they, some of them are complicated, they're, they're logical. You know, you can see things like, when I first saw, saw the VU meters, I actually thought they were a gimmick because they were both moving. But then when I started recording BART and Skype, right. I realized, hey, they're really doing their job. They're not just for play. Absolutely, yeah. And in, in Skype, uh, the left one is for your audio and the right one is for the other party's audio. So it's definitely there. Uh, they're not uh, super precise, but they will tell you, you know, uh, he's way too quiet, he's way too loud, or, you know, he's about where he should be. Yeah, 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 right. So, uh, okay, now we're going to go in here. Show us how you record. We're going to record Piezo right here? Yeah, do it. All right, so this is it's recording from the mic right now. We've got our source set to the microphone. We can select an application, but we'll do the microphone right now. And this is it's very complicated. We're going to click this button here, and now it's recording. <laughs> so we're done. Uh, when we're done recording, we'll hit it one more time, and now it's stopped recording. We can view our file by clicking this little guy right here. We've got about 20 recordings from the day to day, all of them useless, I'm sure. But uh, it's really that simple. It's really just a yep. couple clicks. There is actually one more menu, the gear menu, right? Yep. So there's, uh, we've got some settings right here, uh, some basic settings. You can have a title for your file. You can have a comment in there. And then you can adjust the audio quality if you want. Uh, so if you're just doing spoken word, you can save a little bit, bit of disk space, or you can do a little bit higher quality for music. Yeah, my first instinct was, was, OK, I want a whole bunch of options. I want to be able to blah, 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 blah. And I went, no, that's not what this is about. That's right. That's, uh, that's really what Audio Hijack Pro is for. Uh, if you need more options, if you need more functionality, you can get it there. But if you want very simple recording, Piezo is the way to do it. And what's the price on Piezo? Uh, it's just $10. Got to love it. Got to love it. And that's in the Mac App Store? It's in the Mac App Store, and it's sold direct as well. But uh, you can get it trial right from our site, and then you can buy it either way. Now, are you predicting any problems with sandboxing in the Mac App Store with being able to uh, kept, kept, capture application audio? It's actually a really good question. Uh, we've gotten that from a lot of people. We've actually tested it, and uh, it works with sandbox applications at this time. So when in about a month or 
probably about two months when more sandbox applications start to come out, should be fine, shouldn't even need an update. Sweet, gotta love it. Okay, uh, let's see, we wanted to talk about airfoil too, right? Sure, uh, that's actually what we're demo demoing here at the show mostly. Uh, airfoil is a tool for sending audio from your Mac out to any device. So audio devices like the Airport Express, the Apple TV, other Macs and PCs, as well as uh, iPhones, iPod, touches, and iPads. So this is Airfoil right here. We're sending audio from a music service called Spotify, which a lot of people know. We're picking the audio up right from there. We're sending it out to an Airport Express, to an Apple TV, to a MacBook Air that's uh, running our Airfoil speakers application. And did you just say you could also send it like to an iPad? Yep, absolutely. So anything that's playing on your computer, you can send to an iPad, an iPod, uh, iPod Touch, or an iPhone on your wireless network. That is really, really cool. So it just uses your Wi-Fi network? Right, it sends uh, audio right over the Wi-Fi network and it finds the devices automatically, picks them up, and you can choose to send to them and uh, get your audio right on those devices. But the interface looks so simple. Uh, that's sort of the idea. It should be simple and uh, it's just, again, a couple clicks to get the audio out there. All right, and how much does uh, Airfoil cost? Airfoil is $25. $25. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you guys keep up with the great work. I just, there's just a few vendors you're just like, okay, whatever they come out with next, I need to just go get that because I'm sure it's great. Excellent. Glad to hear it. All right, thanks, Paul. Thank you.